Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 759, where we have 40 moves to collect two ingredients. So let's look at this board. One ingredient here, another ingredient set to come down here maybe, or I could actually bring both ingredients down the same spot, and then I would save myself some trouble. If I just plow through here, I don't have to worry about collecting this one. So maybe I want to keep the frosting from keeping the chocolate from... You know, maybe I just want to keep that chocolate there and bring the ingredients this way. I've got ticking time bombs I have to deal with. I've got a cake bomb that might be helpful. I am going to make some strikes against here, so I'll have to be careful with that. And I've got a very limited field, so I may have to make moves that I didn't intend. I may not be able to keep my strategy here. So now I've got the ticking time bombs out in the open. That presents a different opportunity for me. Uh, notice how I'm more interested in getting through here than I am in getting through this cake bomb. The cake bomb would be helpful, but it's not necessary. Sometimes it's an essential component, like if I've got jelly buried under it and it's a jelly level. But here it's just a nice thing to have it cleared out. Uh, the ticking time bombs are getting a little bit scary for me. But again, being out in the open, I'm not as worried. So let's see, this should be a nice cascade. I can take this out. Ah, <laughs> that one got sealed over. Now I've got some chocolate growing, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm not going to worry that it's going to take that over. I don't really need that for anything. Actually, I took it out anyway. I want to keep that in place. Ooh, I wonder if I could get a striped red combo. Because even though I don't need to take out the cake bomb, of course it would be helpful. It would take out a layer of stuff. And this is one, two, three, four layers thick right here. So it's not a bad idea. Um, I just always like to focus on what's essential and then look at what's important and then look at what's helpful. I wonder if I could make a stripe along here. No, I'm going to do this. I need to get over this way. I guess this would help to, to have it cleared out because then I could reach here more easily as well. If I take out a chocolate, no new chocolate can form the next turn, so let's do that. I've got both my ingredients here now, which can be problematic. They tend to get in the way a bit. Notice I didn't want to move this over. I was kind of holding out. But I would love to have this moved over. Even though it would take out this, now I don't have to worry because I've got both ingredients. I'm going to try to work along the borders here. Make a cascade. Ooh, nice stuff. Here, I can get a striped wrapped combo so I can get this opened up because I wasn't making much progress on my own over here. And now it's going to take out all of the chocolate for a while. Actually, it's going to take out all the chocolate and the chocolate can't regrow. Now I really want to use this blue, but everything's going to be removed. Okay, so I have three layers to get rid of. And I'm stacking these up pretty well here. Here we go. Oops. Oh, those sunk down a little too far, but that's okay. I can get this. Look at all the nice stuff that happened there. Let's see. So I think... There we go. That's how I beat this level on my first playthrough for recording purposes. Remember to look for what's uh, essential, what's important, and then what's helpful. And see if that can guide you through to the end. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe, and as always, thanks so much for watching.